Hum is a botanical infusion, and it's completely natural as all my liqueurs that I make at Nacional 27. So I wanted to do something that didn't have any flavors or colors, was just the botanicals. So we simply start with an organic rum base, and we infuse that with hibiscus for color, ginger for spice, cardamom for a really nice bright exotic note, and kefir lime to bring it all together with beautiful bright acidity. The first time I tasted hum, and, and it is based on an Amaro, and so it is based on an Italian uh, beverage, but the first thing I thought of was savory food. I wasn't thinking of cocktails. As much as I like to make and create cocktails and drink, uh, I was really thinking savory food, and I was thinking shellfish, and I was, and I was thinking uh, game meats, because the flavor profile of the hum is, is so deep and there's so much going on, but it doesn't get lost or muddled with the food. Cocktails is about pleasure, and when somebody has one of my drinks, I want them to go away feeling like they had a good time, and it tasted good. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about to me. The menu started with a conversation between myself and Todd Stein and Johnny Abens, the mixologist here at The Wit. And we just started to brainstorm about a progression of flavors. So guess we're gonna start off with a very simple hum and soda, similar to the way you enjoy a, a Campari and soda, just a little bit of lime, just to really get the botanicals and lighten it up a little bit with the carbonation. First course is uh, beets and burrata, and burrata is this really rich, creamy, just wonderful play on mozzarella. It's uh, mozzarella curd, and when they close up the little package of it, they inject some milk into it. So when you cut into it, it's really rich and creamy. Uh, and beets, you know, beautiful spring beets. Uh, three colors, we got golden, we got candy stripe, we got red, and they're, and they're earthy. And then the hum, what we've done with the hum on this is we've actually cooked it down until it's almost a syrup, and it's really intense. Uh, and that earthiness of, of the beets, and that sweetness, and those unique flavors from the hum together, really fantastic, and there's some watercress in there, uh, and then just a little drizzle of 25-year-old balsamic. We're gonna do what we call a botanical time warp with Prosecco, hum, and Benedictine, and just a uh, little, uh, touch of orange on the top, and two spirits really play off each other. Moving on, we're doing uh, the herb and citrus roasted prawns. The prawns are marinated in olive oil and garlic and lemon and parsley. Um, and then when they're almost done, we just flame some hum into the pan. Uh, it has toasted farro, which is a, a grain, uh, and then some citrus, just some beautifully compressed uh, oranges and grapefruit. The grapefruit and the citrus uh, combined with the hum absolutely fantastic, uh, and it just really goes well with the prawn. With the prawn dish, we were inspired by a Ramos Gin Fizz and did a reinvented hum fizz that has a base of Destor Gin from Wisconsin, hum, cream, egg whites, and a little bit of orange flower water that's vigorously shaken, and then we add a little bit of Barks red cream soda, which is really the finishing touch, and so you kind of get this thing that you would feel like you'd have in a fountain shop in the turn of the century where your crazy aunt put a shot of gin in into it. And then the third course is uh, grilled quail. So now we got meat and game, uh, which I really like the hum with a lot, especially with the char from the quail. Um, we've also braised some endive uh, in hum. So you've got bitter and sweet combined, and then that richness from the grill. Um, and then of course, I, I couldn't leave a dish alone without pork. So we've added some pancetta for Christmas and pork uh, and some grilled tus uh, braised Tuscan kale. Uh, and the kale is cooked with pork and it's just, it's a really rich, buttery green, so you have the sweet and sour and richness all going on, and then the char from the grill, it's a great dish. The cocktail is stirred using a base of cognac, yuzu, which is Japanese orange, a little bit of 20-year-old port and hum, and then finishing that off with this old-fashioned cinnamon bitters. With dessert, uh, we have a play on spumoni, and it's called tutti frutti. Uh, and it's really great with the hum. It's a white chocolate mousse and we have uh, amaro soaked cherries, a little bit of pistachio sauce and uh, a drizzle of hum. Uh, and I think it really completes uh, the menu. We're doing a hum flip. And so we're doing a whole egg that is dry shaken with hum, a chinaco añejo tequila, and then finished off with hum bitters. Johnny came up with a cool name, Breakfast in Jalisco, I believe. I want them to experience the restaurant and what we cook and experience things that they've never had before. And, and hum, as, as new as it may be, a lot of people haven't had it. So incorporating it into the food and incorporating it into the restaurant and what we do, it, it opens people up to just more than just coming to dinner here and going, oh, I'll, I'll have this or that. It, we're giving them the option to experience something that they're not always gonna get to have. The way I sum up my whole philosophy is drink like you eat, and that's what I want people to come away with this experience. Uh, having some great cocktails, having some great food, and seeing 
that when you break down that wall between the front of house and the back of house and the mixologist and the chef and blur those lines, that you can have some absolutely amazing flavors and a lot of fun. Chefs don't get to cook with cool liqueur all the time, so this is really fun.